Hello everyone, this is Hans. Today I'm going to talk about the Marco script. This script is basically used with B language. So we also call it, it this name. And it is mainly designed for users to do simple logical control or some calculation. For example, there are several inverters I want to start at the same time. As we already know, the Inverter start running is 2000 hex. So here I input the A192 to this word address, and uh, we can see that this set to the value 1 and to compile and run it. So here, as we can see that if I press this button and this station number one will be turn, turning on. So, but in this case, we just able to control the single one device. If I want to control more, I need to be done by script. So here I already run, wrote this background script here. So here is the script. So if I back to this offline simulator, so here if I press this bit switch to on, as we can see, the all lamp are lighting on and same time, which means all the address are triggered. So according to this code, I can perform a the simultaneous running operation for inverters. So following, let me introduce the Marco script editor UI interface. First, we need to double click this script tree node to unfold this function. We can see that there are two trial nodes. One is the background script and another one is background function. The background script is a global script. As long as it meets the condition, it will carry out when the HMI in any screen of the project. On the contrary, there is another script in the screen. This is the screen script. It's just able to carry out when we arrive to the, the screen. So, I take an example, if I write a script in screen number 0, when I jump to the number 1, the screen script from number 0 will not able to carry out. So this is the screen script. And uh, this screen background function is user-defined interface. So uh, I can make some function here and call, call it in background or screen script. So next we double click this background script. Here we can also see there are four type script here. The first one is the initial script. This one means when the user start up HMI, this script will carry out once time. But please remember to do not write too many codes here. It could let HMI turn into startup very slowly. The second one is the close script. This script means when user turn into the backstage, this script will carry out once. So remember the turn off HMI not possible to trigger this because once HMI is powered off, you cannot do anything. The third one is the timing script. This script is running on a certain cycle. So here if I input 16 here, which means it will carry out once per 600 milliseconds. 
and then the last one is the trigger script. This script is only carried out when the corresponding bit is turned into the right occasion. So we can select this select this five four five condition for the trigger script. Force choose base change and for rising age and falling age. The last one is the introduction from every icon in the toolbar. The first one is for the creating a new timing script. And the second one, add function, is for creating a new script in the background function. So if I jump to here, we can see that this icon will be enabled. And uh, the third one is in the, for the creating a new trigger trigger type script. And uh, this one is not useful, so we can ignore it. And uh, this this question mark is for opening the help topic and we can check the screen topic on on, the, on this icon and uh, this move up and move down is for the changing the position of the background function so if I click on this function F1 I can move it to the top or move it to the button this one is modifying the property for present script and uh, this one is for delete the whole script node of present script so if I click yes and the whole node will be disappear and this one is for clean up the code for present script so if I click yes, the on the code will be cleaned up. Here is the save, cut, copy and paste. This is undo and redo. This is for the grammar check. We can use this button to check whether there is some mistake on present script. So. For example, I impose a just in here and forget, forgot to input the value to to assign to this address. And if I click on this grammar check, and it will show me which line has a uh, expected error. This W is for is the one word address in script. For example, I can input HDW0 here, and this B is for insert one B address. So also I can input HDX0.0 here. This is an assistant tool for helping us to create the function more convenient. So uh, if I want to use the B move, so I can first to click Commander and find the data moving. As we can see, B move is in here, and I click on this B move. So. Uh, we can see this is the simple description for this fun this interface function interface and uh, so it is copy the data from the variable two to variable one and the variable three is the word length so I can input length as a constant value and here the for example I can input HDW0 
and uh, here use the convert bus suggest zero and then click insert to finish it so as we you can see you can let me quick setup no need to refer the menu again so this is uh, the main introduction of all the many interface on the Marco script as for the example of the Marco script please head to the Wicom support center there, there are several example project here you can refer to so thanks for watching see you next time